Alrighty, Femi Fems, take your love vitamin. I had to pause the video, so I'm going to start over. I kept the cards out. Um, Take your love vitamin. The first card that came out says the law of divine will. The second card is the law of perception. And the overall energy is the law of mentalism. Some of you all, somebody here has a person that's playing on like your mental because of selfish greed. Someone here is trying to stall you. Some of you all may need to be a, be mindful if you are connected to people that's not only greedy, greedy but they are not of spirit. Meaning, you know what a dark soul is? A person that has no conscience, um, they'll take from you or they'll manipulate you as long as they can, as long as you don't see what they're doing. Somebody here has that person in their life. This person is completely, this could be a person that's completely arrogant or this person has some sort of arterial motive in your life. You don't see it, but you're starting to sense it. Your spirit is alarming you to be aware of a person because greed. Now, some of you all, this could be a person that is trying to hustle you. Uh, this could be strictly finance, financial, or it could be a person that may want to live with you. But something about if you move this person in, it's going to bring bad luck to your life. Things are going to change for you all of a sudden, the death card. So you're being warned about a person that you don't see completely clearly yet. It, it, but this is the, the, okay. Let me say this right here. This card says, Stop waiting for a sign. The universe responds to your beliefs. It's like you're waiting for a sign, you're sensing something but you just don't have the physical proof of it. But the spirit is already letting you know, be aware. A person has hidden intentions that you don't see the perception. Look beyond the illusion to the one truth. The truth is not right before your eyes. It's in your spirit. So just be just be aware of that. Also, um, the spirit is telling me to say to someone again, Something about moving somebody in your house or roommating with a person is going to bring some sort of bad luck. This could also be someone who's trying to S M O O C H smooch smooch off of you. So be aware of that. Holy Spirit, what's the law of perception? But someone here is playing on your mental. Or this could be somebody who could, you know, be be mental. See, you're the Ace of Cups. Now, some of y'all, y'all got a new interest in your life. Somebody who you're interested in could be someone you're dating or someone that that's interested in you. Be aware of this new lover because this person right here has more going on in their life or behind the scenes than what you actually see. This could also be a person... I, I hear the word residence real loud that can need a residence or a person that's um like a smoocher. A scrub, she said. T a scrub. This, this, this is a, this is a spiritual scrub in your life that's gonna take from you. Give me more on this Ace of Pentacles here for the Divine Feminine. Child, yeah. The Five of Pentacles, the Lovers card, and the um, the Watcher, the Queen of Cups. This is somebody that's watching you. So it's like you're being preyed on, and somebody's about to make their move. Some of you all, you must already be interacting with the person that's a user and a loser. Um. This could also be a person that always need helps, always have a hand. They want to add, like have their hand out. They want to ask for something. Somebody is going to ask you for something. Once they get it, they're going to switch up and change you. They're going to cut it off. Somebody who you're being warned not to allow a person to move in or not to get too close. This person is greedy and they're selfish. Of course, they could be spiritually cursed. It's like when you yoke up with someone and things start uh, turning around in your life. Your hours start getting cut at work. You start having havoc in your household. Um, you and family members start falling out. You start being stressed. Somebody here is little subtle things that's taking place in your life that the spirit is warning you of. Someone here is trying to make themselves look like they're equally yoked with you, but you all are not of the same vibration. This person has some sort of uh, motive. Arterial motive is what I'm hearing. They have arterial motive. All right, what do we need to know from here, Holy Spirit? Some of y'all need to shield yourself financially and mentally. A person sees you as, a, as like um, a very beneficial suitor. 
but this person does not have everything that they are portraying to be. It could be something very simple as a person lying about, you know, they make this kind of money, they live this particular place, or they have something that they do not have. Just be aware that this is like, you know, I don't see anything that like completely harmful, but it's like a warning. Be 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 mindful. All right, what's this right here? Let me see. Stay. Trust and thrive. So you're thriving and a person sees that. It's like you're a go-getter. This is a leech. This is what the freak this is. This is a goddamn leech. Somebody who wants to leech off your ass. Live in your house. It could be driving your car. Always borrowing money. It's some, this person, this is a damn leech you got on you, honey. Enjoy success and happiness. See, somebody here sees your life and what you have and what you're doing, the hard worker that you are. It could be that you got, I heard two jobs, you got two jobs. And somebody here pocket watching. They're pocket watching you. Malcolm X, get your hand out of my pocket. This person is counting your pockets up, seeing what you have and calculating, but they should have enough for me. But what they're, this is manip manipulation. Yep. Ignite your passion and you need to stand your ground. You, so somebody here, the spirit is saying, stand up for yourself. Some of y'all need to say, hell no. Others of you all, no, I don't have it to spare. You don't have to say you don't have it. I don't have it to spare. Medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. See, you know it. You sense it. You can feel it. And sometimes people take the nicest people and try to manipulate them. You're getting sob stories from people who just want to use you or misuse you. And that's what you're being warned of here. Yep. Somebody here you don't like saying no. Why? Because you like to keep the peace. See here? That card showed itself. Excuse me, the peacekeeper. You want to keep the peace, but no, it's time for you to, you know, bark up something. Nah, I ain't got it. No. Shit, put their ass on block. If you can work two jobs, their ass can too. Hell. Um, communicator. The communication you're getting from a person is like faulty. Is not the true singer. Somebody here could sing, or this could be someone here, y'all trying to manipulate you out your gifts, abilities. I hear the word contract. Be careful of contracts. Make sure the money is being fair, fairly given to you. Musicians, somebody here getting ripped the hell off, honey. Oh my God. If you're in a group, if you're some sort of artist, or it could be, you know, something, you know, a lot of people are doing a lot of entrepreneurial things. Be mindful because the community, this person is not, they're, they're not right. Somebody's hustling you, fire. This could be someone with a fat, fast talker or trying to rush you to do something, rush you um to sign something. Um, somebody here is an artist. Yep. And you have some sort of ability or some sort of give. It's like it's like when people see your ability to do something, your gift to do something, they want to pimp your gift, pimp your ability. This is usury. Um, dancer. I also hear the word church real loud. So some of y'all in church, this is a message for you all as well. Make sure you're not just using your gift solely for the church. The gift is inside of you. Use your gift for you as well. Somebody here is um, benefiting more off your gift than what you are. This may be a contract that you have already gotten yourself into. You need to finish that contract or see if you can get out of it. All right, this is a smooth that y'all have on y'all. Some of y'all are being spiritually abused. You could have spiritual leaders or religious leaders that's manipulating you so that they can capitalize off your life. The Ace of Pentacles invert, that ass is greedy. And they're penny pinching you, giving you the least. Giving you the least, honey. Um, take time out. Get you some rest. You need to think. And sometimes when you're in when you're in the storm, you can't see it correctly. So you need to step out, get away from everybody. Some of you all, you have people trying to cap crowd your space, or let's go to lunch. I always want to be around you, or they have little um, you know, like little what's those people called? People that come want to come around you. I call them slaves. I don't know if the word is conduit or not. But they're fake associates, fake friends to keep your mind in a certain place. Also, I see a brainwashing energy. Connect with water. The reason why the spirit wants you to connect with water so that you can use your intuition. Because someone here is trying to, you may, you may be very intuitive. But because you are around these people all the time or they have, it's like somebody can feel you picking up on them. You're a hustler. Somebody's looking at you as a diva, but they can they can mimic you. Hold on, mimicking is copying. 
So some of y'all, it could be your work is being copied, especially you artists, you singers, you mag magicians. Um, the spirit is saying, pay attention, pay attention. Some of you all may need to cover your work a little bit strategically. Um, I keep hearing the word contract, make sure the contract is fairly written and everybody is obligated to, you know, that something here, somebody here is not being fair in a contract. Your obligations are, is something that's imbalanced here, but they, somebody's trying to get you to go with the flow, but it's, it's for their own greed, their own selfishness. All right, let's close this out with this right here. All right, Holy Spirit. Um, just, I definitely see a lot going on with artists. You're being manipulated or a person is trying to manipulate you, but apply this to any part of life. They're playing on your mental, playing on your psyche. Someone could be, um, could be wanting to utilize what you do, the way you do it to get them a head start, a head start in life. Feel joy in all that you do. You know how you do your, you love what you do and you do it with a smile. You're happy about it. See someone here feels like, you know, well, such and such would mind doing it. We'll get them to do it. You're being used. That's all this is. You're being used, baby. Worry is a wasted emotion. Don't worry. Don't stress yourself. But use your intuition and, and make some different choices that benefit you. Some of you all need to challenge the people that's coming in your life or that's already in what their true motives are because you have leeches, users, scrubs around you. Peace and blessing. Great day, films. I hope this helped. Namaste. I just didn't even hang up.